I'm here with my sister Kat and today we're going to be reviewing every single Barbie movie. So I've ranked them in order of movies I hate most to movies I hate least. I'm going to find out whether Katie agrees with me or disagrees with me. And we just want to share our opinions about the films. So are we ready? Um, if you are keen for today's video, make sure you give the thumbs up button a big click and we can get started. Alright, so the film that I hate the absolute most is Barbie and the Secret Door. I think it's absolute trash. I think Do you there agree? are far worse movies than The Secret Door. Well, yes, it's bad, but like the more recent ones, like The Puppy Adventures and you know, all the really bad animation just kills it for me. Yeah. And like The Princess Power, they're so bad. Mm. I think the one reason I hate this movie the most is that there's literally barely any plot. Like, there's barely any plot. Like, I don't, what happens, I don't remember. Basically nothing. It's not even... I could tell you what there's happens. There's not, I know, I know what happens, but I know it's not, it's just not really that complicated. It's not interesting. It's not that exciting. And also, I thought the songs were really, really bad. I don't even remember the songs. I hated every single one of the songs. I just could not watch. It was just, bleh, gross. So, the next movie that I hate the second most is Barbie, A Fairy Secret. Again, I felt like the plot was absolutely nothing. It was very, very short. And it was very predictable. And I didn't really like any of the character development between Barbie and Raquel. And also, I thought like Taylor and Carrie were very unnecessary mm. characters. Um, the next film I hate the most is Barbie in the Pink Shoes. Um, I didn't like the plot Super at all. Plot, yeah. It was mm -hmm. so pointless. Like, she basically only went to two different ballets, I think. She went to Swan Lake, didn't she? And then she went to the other one. Giselle? She went to the beginning one in the village, and then she Giselle. went to Swan Lake one. Giselle. And then Swan she Lake. was in like two. Also, can we just talk about that animation? Yeah, what the animation was so bad. As soon as I saw the animation, I think this is the first time. Face. Come on. Was this the first time they revealed the new animation or was that? No, I, I think like that was long before the that. perfect Christmas. But this was the one that used the animation that looks like a big bowl of Play-Doh. Pretty well, yeah. Hate the animation in this. Um, the next one I also hate is uh, Barbie and a Mermaid Tale 2. Um, I have the pirated Thailand version because <laughs> I didn't want to pay for the real one because it's so bad. The plot is so boring. I just felt like it was so unnecessary that her enemy became a mermaid as well. That was weird. And I didn't like... I don't even remember that. Yeah, I didn't like how um, her friend changed her hair colour. That really annoyed me. Because it's like, why, Hadley? <laughs> right. Um, yeah, opinion? I feel like the movie was kind of pointless. And it... Uh, Maybe you can't even remember the movie. Yeah, well, I do remember well, the movie. There's one thing that happened in Barbie in a moment or two. They went to like Australia or something. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, also their Australian accents were really bad. Mm. It was, it was just a bit unnecessary and I wasn't a massive fan of it. But I feel like at the time, I really liked it. Like, I don't think I ever liked it. When I first discovered Lion when King I first 2, I loved it. it, but it's still a really bad movie. Yeah, when I first watched it, I was like, oh, this is disappointing. Because I was, but Moment 1 was actually pretty good. I did enjoy that at the time. Not so much anymore, but... Okay, next film, Barbie and Princess Power. I hate this film. <gasps> the songs are stupid. The two best friends are basically the same person. They have the same personality once again. And also, I just didn't enjoy the plot with her cousin. I just thought it was stupid. I don't um, remember any of that. I remember watching it and hating it. I also don't like the no, villain. The villain the with the frog was weird. That's the spy movie thingy. No, that's not a spy ones where she has, um, she has the soaring song, and then her parents go to the songs. escape room. And I thought it was the one where she was like a gymnast. No, kind of no, I don't know. I don't even remember. The whole it. plot it's really was bad. I just remember looking at this, like the case, the cover, the text, the costumes, and wanting to punch myself in the face. Yeah. And then Holly. Why is there it. a dog here? Like, why is there a flying dog? That's stupid. What are those two costumes? I don't know. They don't even have powers. Why are they wearing Focus. costumes? I'm sure, they, I'm sure they know what we're talking about. All right. Next one that I hate is Barbie. Hang on. Is no, no. That's not gonna focus in. Next one that I hate is Barbie and her sisters in a puppy chase. I was honestly very annoyed at Barbie the whole film because it's kind of like Barbie, you know that Chelsea has a recital to get to. Move, get there, why are you delaying everything? And it was also very unrealistic how they went ziplining. That was just so stupid. And I also thought the thing with the aunties, how they're like the same person but different, was weird. And also the talking puppies was very annoying. And I just thought that generally the whole plot was like unnecessary if Barbie had just went straight to the hotel instead of going on her little adventure. Um, the dolphins. I don't like the fact that they talk. The yeah. puppies. I hate and when the dogs. dogs talk. It's like shut up. You don't. You <laughs> dogs don't talk. Next one. All right. Next. Swan Lake. I hate. I thought it was so boring. Like, I don't hate it. I like the dance with the little elves and I like the backstory between Rothbar and the Fairy Queen. But 
I think mm. it wasn't interesting enough. Like, yes, yeah, the it wasn't interesting th enough. Can I speak? Sorry, sorry. I think the plot was interesting enough, but it wasn't like the plot was well thought out, but it wasn't interesting to us. Mm. I think I didn't really understand the whole concept about it, so it just seemed boring to me. Yeah. It's like you're a little kid, you don't really understand not what's going on, but you don't enjoy the movie as much. I watched it a couple of years later after it came out, and I enjoyed it more the second time. Yeah. I mm, not much. To I say wish about we got that. to see more about her sister. That's why I would like. To say. I didn't even remember she had a sister. I liked the, the sister animation. Horse riding. Yeah, animation was alright. Um, oh, next yeah. one, Barbie Sky Squad. That was the spy movie. I Boring. like. I, I liked... hated the crush guy. He was stupid. Katie. I don't remember that. He yeah, he was so annoying. And then I hated how her she had this problem where she couldn't do it, and then she saw it in her mind, and then she believed she could yeah, do it. Yeah, that's annoying. That was stupid. And also, I thought it was obvious that the other gymnast was the villain. Like, the plot was so obvious. Yeah. I just enjoyed the workout scene. Yeah, that's where they what were, I like, jumping around and yeah, stuff. That I like, was cool. I liked, I liked the that. montage where they were, like, learning the skills. That was very cool. Yeah. But the actual movie was stupid and the whole mm. thing looked stupid. It looks like a rip-off of Totally yeah, Spies. It could have been better if they had fleshed out the plot a little bit more. And the animation had made it. I didn't mind the animation. I hate the New Day animation for Barbies, by the way. I, I quite like the animation. Mm. All right, next. Uh, Better than Polly Pop. Barbie the Pearl Princess. I felt it was too similar to Tangled. Um, I didn't really like it that much. I thought it was like good. It had the potential to be good. I liked the scene where she was in jail, but it just was too similar to Tangled for me, personally. But I did like the songs, and I did like her friends, how they were two different personalities. Normally the friends are quite similar, so it's good that they were different. Um, and I liked, like I liked the concept, but it was just not well executed. I've seen it, but I don't remember it. <laughs> Are you sure you've seen it? You look a bit confused. <laughs> no, I know I've seen this one because I remember watching it with you when it first came out and that kind of stuff and you bought it on disc and stuff. And I recognise that and I recognise some of the scenes in the back, but I wouldn't be able to tell you what happened. I like the music video. And I liked the Fergus, the guy who really liked plants. I thought he was a cute Oh, guy. he was the dude. And there yeah. was like some bowl or something oh, like wait, that. I was right, next is on my list. I don't own physically, but it is Barbie Dolphin Magic. Have you seen it? No. The plot was quite complicated. I liked the ending scene with the helicopter when they were fighting at the end, but I did not like. I thought it sh Barbie was a... When her friend revealed that she was a mermaid, Barbie was like, oh, cool. You know, she didn't even seem that shocked. And I didn't like how they I mean, were she singing... she was a mermaid herself like four times. <laughs> I didn't like I'm how they saying. were singing Treasure at dinner because they just reused Treasure from a different earlier film. So that was kind of stupid, I thought. Um, but I did like it how Ken had the internship. I thought that was cool and I wish they had expanded on that. Sing along with Barbie. But Cham, this is a karaoke DVD. Um, I liked it a lot. I thought it had a really good concept and I wish they did release a second version of this later on because I feel like the later films had really good songs um, and the earlier songs were quite good but I think it would be good to have an updated version. Imagine if you had a disc of every single Barbie song that they had throughout the whole Barbie movies. Why would you want that? Some of the songs are terrible. This is good because it's the highlights. Only good songs are on this. Uh, Mariposa and the Fairy Princess. Good, but predictable, I think. It was kind of like Fairy Also, I hate the animation and I hate that. It was the fourth one to Mary Topia, wasn't it? Yes. Fairy Topia. No, fifth. fifth. Whatever. That kind of thing. Number five. Okay. I didn't like it how they got Kelly Sheridan to voice Mariposa instead of Chari Zari or whatever, because she still worked for Mattel. Why couldn't she voice her? I don't know the difference. Why would you change the voice of Mariposa? With the sequel, it doesn't make sense. Oh, this is the sequel one. Yeah. I barely remember. No, the secret one. That's where she goes off to that other thing and she yes. rides around on the horse. Then there's some evil stick yes. thingy, right? Yeah, I didn't like it. Predictable. Mm -hmm. But I did like the song and I did like the fact it was set in Fairy Tropa again. And I did not like the animation. And also, I didn't really like Z. Yeah. Where did Z come from? Z, Z was not in the first film. You don't need a sidekick in every single film. <laughs> and I wish they had had the two um, girls from the earlier film in it. What were their names? I forgot. I don't know. Whatever the name. I feel like a lot of the Barbie sequels aren't that great, so we didn't have too much for high hopes for that one. And particularly because I, I didn't... like some of the sequels. I didn't really massively enjoy Mariposa when it first came out. I didn't watch it for a good while. But then when I eventually watched it, I'm like, I don't hate it, but it's mm. still not that great. I agree. I don't hate it, but it's not that great. Uh, next, uh, Barbie Fairytopia. <laughs> Loved it. We're talking about the first one here. Oh. First one, number one. Do number you really one. love number one? I loved I think number series. one was the worst one. Second worst one. I I hated Magic of the Rainbow that by the age 
I was when I watched that. Came or... out in 2007, so you were seven. Doesn't matter. I was. I like... was seven, so you've been like five. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I was like, God damn, she's annoying. The um, stupid idea of the rainbow and sparkles and unicorns. So you're saying, we're well, talking about the first one here. Yeah, I'm talking about third one. Well, we're on the third, we're not on number one. So I mean, personally, I felt like the plot was not developed enough. Man. Um, I felt it was, it was kind of obvious. She totally just told her friend to go away for her protection. Yeah. It was just like, she wants I always to thought away. that was weird. She always tells Dandelion to go away. She's like, no Dandelion, don't come with me. Stay True. home. I wouldn't do it. True. Like... But I did like how they had that scene with Prince, was it Nalu? Yeah, Nalu, I liked that with the Firebirds, that was very cool. Um, but overall I felt like it was not quite developed enough. I enjoyed it. Yeah, like I enjoyed it, but I feel like it could have been better. It was one of my preferred Barbie movie things and it bothered me because you had one of the dolls for it and my other sister had one of the I dolls for it. I didn't have one of the dolls for it. Yes, you did. No, which one? You had, she had the one that was like the yellow one, right? Yeah, Dandelion. Yeah. And she had Azura as well. Oh, she had both? Yeah, she had both. And then I had the one with the big rainbow wings. And yes. Yes. Yeah, true. <laughs> That's hardly specific to remember. All right. Next one. Barbie and the Sisters and the Great Puppy Adventure. I like the plot, but I didn't like how the puppies talked. You already did that one. I don't, I don't like, like the fact that Christy no, was in this. It's the other one. And I didn't like the I villains. Thought, they were annoying. I thought we did this one already too. No, but no, we didn't. That was just a very similar movie. Yeah, I don't like any puppy movies with Barbie. It's stupid yeah. and annoying. I don't like dog movies. What about Fashion Fairy Tale where the dog and cat? Have yeah, a... it's okay. They talk in Fashion Fairy Tale, but in this I one didn't they talk like too the much. Dog and cat in Fairy Tale. Yeah. I liked the actual idea of it, and I like. Why the do they rest talk? It, but not. The... I don't yeah. like talking animals. It was good to see her parents though, and it was good good to see Willows, Wisconsin. I will give them that. Sure, I will give them that. Uh, next one, we're getting into. Oh, wait. No, no. Oh, Holly, um, are you going to talk about Thumbelina? We don't own it, but it was on the. No, I have it. Right. Then we're talking about Barbie and a mermaid tale. Wait, but don't we have to talk Here about Fairy Tale of the second one? Yeah, in the order that I've selected. This is the, my personal order from worst to best. Okay. So, and we're seeing whether you agree with me or not, or whether you. Oh, okay. What do we have I to say? What we're um, yeah. Barbie and a mermaid tale, 2010. Liked it. No issues with it. I liked it more when she was a human. I felt like when it was a mermaid, it was too predictable. Like, Hello. literally when they went to the fortune teller mermaids, they told them everything that was going to happen in the plot. And they went and did everything they just said. And it's like, we knew that this was going to happen. It's not a twist. <laughs> I forgot about the fairies and I forgot about the future scene thing. Mm. But from what I remember of it, I liked it. Yeah, I liked the conversation with her friends because I thought her friends were funny. And I liked how she originally did not believe her grandfather. Um, I thought that was really cool and I like the music. Generally it's good but there's some things that I find a bit boring about it. Barbie and her sisters in a ponytail. Didn't like it. Why not? It's stupid. I thought it was quite good but I didn't like the ball scene because I felt like that was unnecessary and they just shoved it in there because they wanted to have a ball. That was stupid I thought. I don't remember the ball. What do you mean? This part. Oh the ball! Yeah. I thought you said ball. No. Like B-U-L-L. -L. No. Like, I felt like it was good, but it was not that good. I liked the music. And I liked how the sisters were all together and they weren't annoying at this stage. At this stage. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Hadn't got to the annoying part yet. Mm. Um, yeah. Next up, uh, my sister's favourite. Not you, the other oh, one. Okay, I was going to say. Not no, you. I hated this movie. <laughs> the other one. The Island Princess. I hated it when I watched it when I was younger. When I was older, I didn't hate it as much, but it's, it's still not as good as some of the others. I felt like I liked the animation, I liked the storyline, um, I liked her backstory, how she like nearly drowned, thought that was very dramatic. Um, I liked the scene with Princess Luciana, but I felt like I did, also I liked the rats, I, I didn't actually mind the talking rats at this, <laughs> in this film. One thing I did not like though, Don't remember talking is rats. I felt like the, the elephant was really annoying and needy, and I did mm, not like the yes. socks. Yes, the elephant was annoying, um, I originally didn't like a Barbie. Hated the, the Barbie. Um, Her name's Ro. The Barbie. I didn't like the Barbie character. Yeah, I felt like it was good, but there was too many issues that made it bad for me. You know what I mean? Like, there's too many things I can't ignore, such as the bad songs. Or the annoying elephant that just had to be in every scene. I know, the like, elephant was shut up. Like, shh, be quiet. Uh, next one. But baby. Ah. It's Ro. But Ro, you're not gonna leave us, are you? <laughs> All right, next. Barbie Starlight Adventure. I liked how it was set in space. I thought it was weird how her mum was dead. 
Um, like, fair enough if she was a different character, but the fact that they named her Barbie and then killed off her mother was really weird for me. I liked the um, subplot with the friend. Didn't like how the, the two other friends were like basically the same person. They had no personality difference whatsoever. And I felt like it was a bit predictable. But generally, not hateful. I don't remember it. I recognise the two little girls. Have you actually seen it? Yeah. Because I recognise the two little girls with the pigtail thingies. They're not little, they're the same age. <laughs> I was trying to figure out it and I recognise that dress. I don't recognise that and I recognise that. Yeah, another but thing. The popcorn, that was stupid. They shouldn't have had the friend sidekick pet at all. In my opinion. <laughs> and that's the key. No. Firstly, in this little one here, Barbie looks cross-eyed and the animation of these two really bothered me a lot. Yeah, I felt like the animation it looks could have been improved stupid, a lot. and I don't like but the I idea like, of the I movie. Like the song. I hate the fact it was in space. It was just I, like, mm, no. I love the fact it was in space. No. Okay, Barbie Rock and Royals. What did you think? It was too much like Princess and the Pauper. It was just like a ripper version of that. It was like, it was like how Disney's making a live action of all the movies. I felt like this was the live action version. You know? I felt like it could have been good if they just worked a little bit harder on making the plot more complicated. I felt like the plot was too obvious. I hated the golden tree stupid thing. There that was, was a, annoying. You know what talk- you, Katie, are you talking about Rock and Boy- uh, ro Princess and the Pop Star? Yes, this is Rock and Royals! With Erica Juno and Princess Courtney. Oh, that's the one where they go to that stupid camp! Yes, so I hate that one too. the other film? <laughs> I hate this one too. I felt like they could have developed the friends a little bit better. Also, I thought it was weird they wore the same outfit all the time. I thought it was stupid how it's a pin and a pop star and they're two separate worlds and it can't be. Uh. Uh, it was annoying. It could it have was been, been, like it could have been good if they just tried a little bit harder. It was like a rip off of the rip off Princess and the Pauper. It was a rip off of a rip off of a kind of decent ish. Yeah. So it was good, but not that good. I like the songs though. I would give them that no. I like the songs. That's when I started to get And I like the montage part. Alright. Oh no, that pissed me off. Really? Why? Because they're like, the magic and this and this and this. You know? Great. Okay, next. Uh, Barbie Mariposa. This is the fourth film in the Fairytopia series. I like this one better than the second. 2008 classic. Yeah, I like this one better than the second, which is why it's down here in the good section. Um, the good section? Yes, this is the good section. We're getting into the better section slowly. Um, I don't like how the animation on the cover I is love so the different. From the animation in the movie, but, but it was like it looks completely unreal. But on here, and I don't like this is the real animation, what it looks like. Looks yeah, like. I like the animation in the real movie. Mm. I don't like I the, the little bunny thingy. Yeah, it's in that pose. Is her name Zinzi or Zazi? I don't know. You're telling the story, mate. I don't know. I Leave don't. in a comment down below if you know her name. Yeah. Is it Zinzi? I don't know. But anyway, move yeah. on. I felt like it was a good film, but it wasn't one of my absolute favorites. There we are. Felt like it was quite good. Not one of my absolute 100% all time favorites, but I thought it was really good. I feel like it's one of those movies that's again, it's a good movie, it's interesting, but it's too early on Barbie for me to remember, not remember, but like appreciate the, the, not the complexity of the film. I feel like it could have been more interesting, but at my age, it was just kind of boring. The dragon dad made me feel sad because he was being punished. I didn't like yeah. the dragon daughter, she I was liked very annoying. The dragon dad. I like the dragon dad, didn't like the dragon I don't know his name, I forgot But it's it. like, I feel like this is the same kind of movie as I enjoyed this film quite a lot. Swan Lake, you no. know. I feel like this is a hundred times better than Swan Lake. No, I'm saying like, there's the same kind of feel I get from them. Like, I didn't enjoy them when they came out because I feel like I was too young to be able to appreciate what they'd actually done. And I loved the animation and I still love the animation. It's 2002, isn't it? I prefer the 2002 thing because it looks less Yeah, considering it is 2002, the animation is not bad. I'll give them that. Like when she's painting her dress in the wall and all Yeah, I love that scene. It was pretty, so pretty. pretty. Overall, nice movie, I think. Yes. A nice film. I enjoy it more so nowadays because it's like, I enjoy, appreciate the art style more. Next, Barbie and Nutcracker. Again, I have similar feelings about both of them. I feel like the Nutcracker is just a little bit better though because the plot is more of a surprise. It's more twists and turns. A little bit worse. Really? You think this one's a little bit worse than the final? It's better than the Disney one. I think this film True. is generally quite nice. Did enjoy it. Mm. Holly, I can't really think Holly of anything liked it wrong with, kids with it. More than I did. Like, I liked the rat especially. Especially when he was like, the bat was like, don't know where she came from. And the rat was like, I do. Mm. Classic line. Classic, enjoy the film overall, very good. Uh, next, uh, Barbie and a Christmas Carol, which I don't physically have. Your opinion, go. Mm. 
liked it, kind of. I thought the three ghosty thing you were stupid, and I. The well, three ghosts is the main her. point of the film. No, you know? but like. I feel like it could have done better. I enjoyed it a lot. I can't think of anything wrong with it, if that's possible. I liked it. They were a good film for me. Uh, next, uh, Barbie and the Princess and the Pauper. What's your opinion? I liked it more so than a lot of your others. Um, for me personally, I feel like it would have been a perfect film if the songs were better. I feel like the songs are so bad. Like, for example, The Cuts Me Out in particular. an eyelash. I don't like the cat's meow. We want to finish the stack. Uh, Ravi is Thumbelina. Your opinion? Go. Uh, animation annoyed me. It was a good idea from how it was like kind of different. It didn't feel like it was part of the Barbie franchise, I guess you could say. Like, I mean, yeah, it was the movie quite different. Franchise. Mm. But yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, overall, I liked it because it was quite different. Um, I liked the plot with McKenna and her friends. I thought that was very cool. Um, yeah, overall, I felt like it was a very good film. A very wholesome. I can't think of anything wrong with it. Next, Barbie Mermaidia, one of my favourite films. Personally, I really love it. It's one of my favourite. No, it's my second favourite out of the second fairy right? Yes. And the first one was better. I love really. Do you think the first fairy tale was better than Mer Mermaidia? Yes. I love the scene with um Nori. That's so cool, I think. I didn't like her. Which one? Her. Oh, a little girl. Yeah. I didn't like how they were constantly fighting over the boy or whatever they were fighting over. But Alina wasn't even in love with him at all. That was always Nori. Yeah, but like, you know. Also, I thought it was funny that on the DVD we've got Sunburst and the Future Telling Girl, whatever her name is, on the cover. But they're not even in this film. They're in the next film. Look, why is Sunburst on the cover of this film? Hmm. She's not even in this film. Wait, so she's not in who else is it? Sunburst and uh... Oh, there. Yeah. I forgot it. Lumina. Lumina's her name. Oh, I didn't know. And look, we've got a random foot hanging off here. With Diesel. Why are they on the cover? Bad Photoshop job, Mattel. Tail. No, that's a leg. Because look, on this one, you've got the oh. leg. Like a bad Photoshop job. Oh, that's why I they know. just stuck, they just stuck it on. on. Uh, anyway. I know. It's <gasps> bad. Underneath is more interesting. It's weird. It was um, like hidden yeah, underneath. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they Photoshopped like this they, cover yeah. on top of this one. This, the second one. On the third one. It's weird. Anyway, so from the third one. Magic of the Rainbow, in my opinion, the best Worst. Fairytopia, Mar Fairytopia movie. Worst Fairytopia movie. Really? I loved Didn't it. Didn't like it. Rainbow's I thought cliche, it was good boring. how every single character had a very different personality. And I loved the thing with Laverna and Sunburst and Alina. Very cool. Um, and I loved Azura. Yeah. Cool. Put it down. No? Mm -hmm. Alright, next. Um, Barbie, the Magic of Pegasus. Getting yeah. into my absolute favourites now. It wasn't that great. I love the scene mm. with Adrian and the sister and her. I feel like they all had very good banter. Yeah. The one thing I did not like about this was film... Was the fact it was 3D? No, I don't, I don't care it was 3D. I don't like Shiver. I felt like Shiver was annoying. And I don't like these little girls on the little tiny Pegasus. I thought that was annoying. Yeah, I liked the painting Unnecessary scene. thing. That was cute though. That's the scene I don't like. It was cute. Unnecessary, but it was cute. Barbie in the Diamond Castle. Which I don't physically have. Like, I used to have that one. Oh, well, I don't know where it is. You had it at one point and then you've lost it, apparently. I don't think I've lost it. I don't think I ever had I gave it, it to you. Well, I don't know I if gave I ever it had to you. it. I don't know. Um, I liked it when it came out. Very stupid idea nowadays to think about. I'm like, Jesus Christ, it bothers me. No, I love it. Can't think of anything wrong with the film. I think it's very good. I'm very happy with it. It's too cliche. And like, da -na 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 -na. I like it. I thought it was very unusual, especially how she was in the mirror. That was very unexpected and also how they were like went into the house and they were like ooh hallucinated what's the word mind controlled very cool uh next uh three musketeers one love of my it. absolute favorites yeah i'm glad we both agree i love this film so much i can't think of anything wrong with it yeah you agree yeah yeah like one it. of my favorites definitely 100 percent would recommend this one very good film I like the songs. I like. I just like everything about this. All right, next one, Barbie fashion fairy tale. I love the breakup with Ken and Barbie. Very like dramatic. It. Good one. Yeah. Generally, I can't think of anything wrong with that. Don't like it. the talking animals in it. Yeah, talking animals were a little bit annoying, but I can deal with it because the rest of the film was. Didn't so like good. how something got kidnapped, and I didn't like how you could see like the magic stinky stuff on the clothes and. Across no, the I thought it was cool. I was just like, yeah. Yeah, I honestly can't think of anything wrong with this film. Talking cats and dogs. 
Except for the talking cats and dogs. <laughs> I can't think of anything wrong with this film. Except for talking cats and dogs. Uh, next, Barbie the Princess and the Pop Star. No! I can't believe you don't like it's this one. It's so shit. Oh, it bothered me so much. I like it. I like the song. Show an insert of the video you did of the. <laughs> Where you played every single part. <laughs> I, I do not remember this I was, video. Uh, what I did is I filmed clip here. a clip. I don't think I can find it. I filmed a recreation of this film, except I played every single character, and I inserted both versions of myself in the scene at once. So it was like I was talking to myself, but dressed as different people, and I had to like film it twice. Like you gotta go like this, like in my face, like in the parent <laughs> trap. I had to film each scene twice and be the different people, and I put them together on editing software, and yeah. Software. Mm -hmm. Overall, very good film. Uh, next. Uh, Barbie Princess Charm School. Loved it when it came out. It was a very good film. 100% I love the cafe scene at the beginning. Like yes, it yes. was. Fun fact. This film was originally called Princess Prep School. Mm. Thank God they changed it. Yeah. What did they change it to again? Charm oh. School. I love this. I song. don't know which one's worse. To be I right. love. I don't like either titles. I love this part with Delancey and Dame Devon. Very cool. Um, At the end, it took me a long time to figure out who this other random chick was. What other one? Delancey. Like, not yeah. Did you know that Isla was originally not in the film, or she was originally a villain? Delancey was originally the best friend. That's why they made dolls of Delancey and not Isla, because they originally swapped. And Delancey mm. was originally. I think the music princess. That's why her dress has music notes on it. But yeah, they switched out with Isla. That's why Delancey is like in all the promo promo photos, and Isla got kicked out. Then that. Ah uh, yes. Next, my second favorite film, The Twelve Dancing Princess. Loved it. So good. Yeah. Overall, very good film. Do enjoy. Yeah. Good. good. Love Nothing the songs. Love the it. dancing. Love the films. And I love how each of the sisters, twelve of them, has different personalities. What? I Which mean, the twins were pretty similar, and the triplets were kind of similar in a kind Yeah, but of I think the twins, but it was like the triplets even had different hobbies, a different way they spoke. The, sure. Next movie. Wait, uh, but like, I find it funny they're able to create 12 different personalities for all the different sisters, but for example, in Starlight Adventure, they couldn't make any difference between the two twins. They were the same person, basically. Cool. Next, my number one favorite, The Barbie Diaries. No. Really? Maybe like halfway through the list. Really? Yeah. I love The Barbie Diaries. I feel like it's halfway through my list of Barbie movies because I don't even consider like Princess Power and like Puppy Adventures. Well, I put those up like, at the start I of the worst films. Yeah. I don't consider any of those real Barbie movies. I'm just like, mm, no, erase them from my mind. Very good film. Put it down. I can't think of anything I don't like about the film. Yeah. So that's my list. Um, generally, do you agree? Mm. Do you think I'm genuinely right? Not on this, honey. <laughs> Some of them I'm very, mm, no, but some of them I can definitely agree with you on, like, meh, media's second one and first one, that kind of stuff. For those ones, I had very f similar opinions. Half of them I hadn't watched. Like, I feel like especially ones. the worst section, when yeah. they were the worst, I feel like we both agreed with that because I think some of them are just so unwatchable. I forgot, like, for Christmas. example, Perfect Christmas. Did I talk about Perfect Christmas? No, I was just thinking about it. I don't that. think I did, but no, you didn't. when I wrote down the list of like worst to best, Perfect Christmas was up in the worst section because I just hate it so much. The songs are stupid, animation stupid, plot stupid. It, I just hate it. Can't watch it. That's one where they're in the cabin thingy, right? Yeah. With the weird, gross, hate red it. and white dress thingy. Yeah, I don't like that movie. Yeah, yeah. hate it. Yeah. So, what would you say is your number one worst and number one best? I couldn't pick a number one worst. They're all pretty bad. Island <laughs> Princess. Worst. You used to love that movie. I quite no, like. Really loved it. It's the worst one. I, I don't like the songs, but I like the I like the plot of Island Princess. I don't like Happy Adventures. So you don't like the modern ones with the. I don't like the modern ones. Like the They're all stupid. Yeah. Twelve Dancing Princesses is good. Out of the modern ones, is good. I much prefer any of the older ones. But it's funny that you say that you enjoy A Mermaid Tale, which came out in 2010. True. But then you don't enjoy The Princess of the Pop Star, which came out in 2012. Which is not that much later. It was just a rip-off. I feel like 2010 was like the best time. That was when we had like Fashion Fairy Tale, 2011, Princess Charm School, 2012, Princess Yeah, that was some good times. Katy Perry that was, was a good era. at her peak. Yeah, Katy Perry was at her peak. The world was good. We had Jessie J. Anyway, yeah. So what would you say is your favourite then? Twelve Dancing Princesses. Twelve Dancing Princesses. Which is funny because I put that as my number two. So like obviously, this one's like halfway through the list. It's such a bad movie. I love it. Why well, I love it? 
It's so complicated it's plot. It's so stupid. What, I was, what part do you not like? I didn't like it. <laughs> what part? All of it. The stupid... How, it's like, a diary. Like, oh. address the fact that the, off, like, the lady that served him was gone. Like, she's never worked here. Like, they didn't even address that. That the lady that worked at the store just disappeared. They didn't address it. Yeah, because I feel like the plot of the film has a lot of holes. No, 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 no. I feel like the only popular people out of the oval. That's just weird. It's not like a seat. It's an oval. The popular though. I had the animation too, and the hair animation. And she kept like brushing her hair. No, and it was like it was like you could like see individual strands, and it was like the fringe with the girl like give me a thing, thanks, and you could like see her fringe like swooping. I liked the scene you where know. Raquel was like, Bobby, can you be a love and get me some water? And Bobby's like, the cooler is right over there. And Raquel was like, I know, you're such a love. Like, oof. Burn. Burn. You're stupid. <laughs> Alright, so that like is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please give a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what is your least favorite Barbie film. Yeah. Please subscribe to become a member of Team Spirits. Um, if you'd like to check out my merchandise, link in description. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter, link in description. If you'd like to donate to my channel, link in description. If you'd like to follow me on social media, it's all in the description. See you we next time. Guessed. Bye.